my weight made me feel an outcast. When you're 500 pounds and you're 6'3", like I am, like you just get stared at. My friends were like, I bet you can't eat 18 hot dogs. And I was like, yes I can, I can eat hot dogs. I bet you I can. And so I, I ate the hot dog. My sister gives me a call and I told her the story. Her first answer was just, why'd you do it? And it kind of made me realize that like, I was just embarrassing myself. Like, this was just humility and they were laughing at me, not with me. It finally clicked with me that to get the respect I've always wanted, I have to first respect myself. When it comes to romantic relationships, my weight was both a mental and physical blocker. I don't think I was attractive at that size. It's gone much better since I've lost weight. It's insane. Like it's, it's crazy to me to even imagine or even think about like I used to be that big. I was almost 500 pounds here. Like, look at those tiny glasses that barely fit in my face. I've been obese since I was about six years old. A lot of it was just ignorance on my part, my parents, we just didn't know what the nutrition was. When you are like a poor immigrant family, that you go to is just what's the cheapest thing in your grocery store, right? Bags of rice, potato, those sugary cereals. I just ate tons of carbs and fats and not enough protein and not enough vegetables either. This picture really shocked me. I was just like, this is a picture everyone looks at and was like, wow, I used to look like this. I used to break so many chairs in my life. Like I've, I've broken over 50 chairs in my life. As an adult, like my weight made me feel an outcast. When you're 500 pounds and you're 6'3", like I am, like you just get stared at. I was always the first one to kind of make fat jokes. I had to kind of disrespect myself first so other people wouldn't get to me. When really the whole time inside, I hated it and I just wanted to be fit and, and healthy just like everyone else. I just don't recognize myself at that size anymore. Like look at this one here when I ate 18 hot dogs and kind of think like, wow, I used to be that big. It's crazy. And my friends were like, I bet you can't eat 18 hot dogs. And I was like, I definitely can. And so I, I ate the hot dogs and, and I did it. And after I ate 18 hot dogs, I felt awful, like I vomited afterwards. I had a call with my sister a couple months later and when I told her, hey, I ate 18 hot dogs, she kind of looked at me with that look of like, why'd you do that? Kind of like, almost like a freak show that they're making fun of you, like you're just embarrassing yourself. And that's honestly when it really clicked to me of like, I'm the one who's disrespecting myself. And I was like, this has to stop, like I have to lose this weight to like, to just so I, can, so I can gain the respect I want. Even as a kid, I'm like, I want to be fit, I want to be healthy, but I never knew how to do it. My whole thing was about hope. Like, I knew that if I kept working at it every single day, eventually it'll get better. I'm the heaviest, I was just a little above 480 pounds. Currently, I weigh about 239. Lost a total of 240 pounds. I work out currently six days a week, actually seven. Uh, two of those days are yoga, then three, four of those days are running, and then four of those days are lifting. The best exercise for losing weight has been just been kind of consistency, just doing something every single day. It wakes me up throughout the day. It's like my coffee for the morning. So I do every single morning is work out. So it's like, I feel, I mean, I feel fantastic. I was so limited at what I can do, right? And now that I've lost this weight, I can climb a mountain, I can go hiking, I can go snowboarding, I can go skiing, I can go learn to surf. I just want to do it all. Yeah! When it comes to romantic relationships, my weight was more of a, it was both a mental and physical blocker. I don't think I was attractive at that size. I had skin removal surgery in May, 2020. I had about over 10 pounds of loose skin. And when I would run, it would hit me, it would slap me, it would get in the way. When I put clothes on, I think if it fit right, I had a weird shape. I can literally hold my stomach like a serving tray. This weight loss really helped me physically, but it also helped me mentally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I met Cindy about five months ago now. We were together a lot, trying to get her faster at biking. She's way faster than on the bike. <laughs> but she's way faster than me at running. I love that you are open to like trying new things and stuff, because it's really fun. The thing I'm most proud of is just being able to walk down the streets as kind of a normal person. I tell people that I've lost this weight and they're like, what? Like, I don't believe you, you don't look anything like that. And that's like the happiest and craziest feeling. I think Amir's weight loss, the whole journey is honestly so amazing. I actually had no idea when I um, first met him and he didn't tell me until maybe like a few weeks later. 
Uh, I think he was like scared that I wouldn't like him if, if I knew, but honestly when he did tell me, it made me like him so much more. The biggest advice I give is to have a reason of why you're doing it. Have a reason that's so important, it beats everything else. It's just so important to you that you can stick with it every single day. Every day you just have to tell yourself that you're gonna lose the weight, you're gonna look amazing, it's gonna get better, you just have to do it now. Thank you.